This is Zach By for ESPN Radio 104.5 The Team and 104.5 The Team.com. I am joined by the head football coach here for the U Albany Great Danes, Greg Catuso, here at Media Day. Uh, coach, thanks for joining me. Sure, Zach. Great to be here. Uh, first guy, I got to tell you, you, look great. I don't know if you're on a diet or something. You look like you lost a bunch of weight. What, what, what's going on with you physically? Just lost a little weight, trying to coach better than I did last year, and fit in my clothes a little better. So nothing else, nothing else. Just trying to get better. Well, you look good. Uh, how do you feel about your team? Uh, you know, as you're, you know, ending the summer session or nearly there, uh, and and really getting started. Good. I, we had a great summer session. I really, it's you know, we our kids were here in the summer, and which was huge for us. Coach Hughes, our weight coach, was fired up, and they got a chance to really work hard all summer for six weeks, and uh, we were in great shape. And uh, I'm happy with that portion of the you know we hadn't done that before here and it's a a, a real benefit um the first couple of days of practice have been good i'm seeing a lot of good things i think we're certainly far ahead of where we were last year and that's a good thing oh, the, the number one question i'm sure you've been asked all uh, afternoon long and well, i'm sure you'll get continued to ask uh, until leading up to buffalo uh, is, is who's your starting quarterback last year you started with dj crook and ended with nevin sussman where are you uh, in, in that conversation i think right now nevin's out front i think he's you know he just keeps getting better every day and he's he's got all the tools I, I think D, and DJ is a guy we really like and trust and and uh, we have a unique situation because Will Brunson is he's very talented so you know he's pushing for time so really we feel good about all three of those guys and you know I think right now it's kind of a one and then those other two are kind of rotating with the twos right now and so we feel good uh, and then uh, the weapons on offense uh, you have some new guys in some some guys coming back uh, wh- where how do you how do you think about your offense in 2016 well you know Brad Harris has been a real stable stable guy and, and uh, has is a great possession kind of receiver it makes some big plays i think z roberson who was a freshman last year is really growing up and getting better Deion alston we moved him to receiver he's been outstanding we're really excited about that move he's he's uh he's he's had an impact in practice so far and we haven't even really started specializing with him jordan crockett's had a great camp you know he's he's a uh, um, again another young guy that started playing at the end of last year um those guys have all been good. Uh, Austin Ellis, the local guy, has been good at practice. And, you know, we're excited about the two young receivers. Um, um, Jarrah Reeves and Trey Hopkins are, are talented. So, you know, we got a pretty good group there. The running backs, EB, Tokens, really good, Hanks. And, um, you know, we, we brought in K.J. Rogers from a JC out in California, and he's been really good. So feel good there. And tight ends are strong. You know, we feel good about where we're at. Uh, in, in the running game, is, is Hanks going to get the first uh, the first nod at it? Yeah, I think he's earned it. You know, he really became our starter the last probably four or five games last year. He earned a job, and, and uh, you know, there's no reason to think he's not going to continue to do that. But he's got some competition. And, uh, you know, we, we moved Cam Wynn there, who was a really good high school running back, and he's going to get an opportunity to compete. So, we'll, you know, we'll keep the competition on and keep the pressure on. But, I, you know, EB is a great kid, and he, he's very motivated, and, and I expect them to have a really good year defensively last season uh was a struggle it was a, it was a such a young defense the youngest in the league uh by a good margin and you had you know redshirt freshmen and sophomores everywhere and that was a large part of the, of the discussion last year was those guys trying to take a step forward in maturity do you think uh from last season to this season you're ready to take that next step we have to uh you know we've we've not been very good on defense the last two years we've we play hard we we've we've been um i don't think anybody can say they're not out there trying their hearts out we just haven't been real good and we're, we're not big we're not fast I think that's changed a lot. Um, I, there's some depth now, so we can rest some people. You know, uh, uh, you know, Mike Nicastro comes back. He doesn't have to play every snap. You know, we, we have he and Julian Cox are both really good players at one position. You know, we've got three middle linebackers we really like, and we've got two, three guys that are other our buck linebacker we really like. So there's depth. Uh, I think the depth in the secondary is really strong. You know, something we haven't had. Um, we've got four safeties we can start if we wanted to. We've got three corners we could start some young guys there that are really good uh and the d line is 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 will be the best one we've had and it's a uh getting better uh, malachi hoskins has got a chance to be a, a all-conference type player in my opinion yeah. we need jack forrester to have a good year and uh you know those young guys in the inside are working hard so I, i'm optimistic about where we're at we're definitely going to be better on offense and defense it's just a matter of how much better and that'll determine where we finish that, that linebacker conversation so interesting. You had Michael Nicastro who was an all-league player two years back. It's injured in the first game last year. Then in steps Julian Cox, who's kind of getting acclimated to a new spot and a new level. Played well, raw talent. Uh, it, it, are you going to consider playing them both at once, or is that only one spot for uh, you know each of those guys? Oh, if you, you come to one of our our 
depth chart meetings at night, and uh, we, we sit there and argue about it all night long because it's it, there's a we you know we added Abner Logan who who played at Maryland and transferred in as a grad transfer who's a really good football player. He came off an injury from last year. You know we've added these guys to the mix, and so it's very competitive. And so we can't figure out the configuration right now. They got to kind of play it out. But we feel good. the biggest thing is they're all going to play, and which is really good because they get fatigued, they get injured, sure. they you know, and and uh, we feel. We have depth for the first time since I've been here. Really, at most positions, pretty much every position, we have a guy that can go in and play and do a pretty good job. So, you know, we feel great about the young old linemen, you know, that are starting to get better. So we're, it's part of building the program. You get into year three, year